Hey guys, how are you today? I'm very well, and you? I'm good. I, you know, Gene, I'm going to start with you because I've, I've been a long time fan of yours. Very, mm -hmm. you know, uh, how did you, this is such a great role for you. How did you get involved and how did you approach this amazing character? Um, I got involved. I just got on a phone call with uh, Chris and um, and Antoine and all of the folks involved. And we had just a really great discussion. And um, they explained to me uh, the character of Lorraine Hartley. And I considered it a challenge trying to add a little 3D, a little you know, dimension to this uh, political sort of suit. Uh, I wanted to bring some heart to her. I wanted to um, give her a little dimension. So that was the challenge. And I, and I took them up on it. And I knew they were people that I wanted to work with for a long time. They were nice. Just yeah, and it it really shows. It shows you put a lot into this. It's it's really a great performance. Thank you, La Monica. I, I'm just it's it's. I looked at your career, and I've seen you so many in so many shows, and this is such a great role for you as well. How did you get involved, and and what was your take on this character? Yeah, I I thought I missed the first couple of auditions. I was in North Carolina working on something else, and then the opportunity came back around, and they saw it. And, you know, I, I jumped on it, got it. First day on set, Chris comes up, was like, man, we saw your tape and we we're blown away. Like we had to have you. Like a lot of little things in the beginning had to be worked out. And even towards the end, uh, they just, they were real hospitable and really, you know, worked around my schedule. But yeah, the role, you know, I played military men before, but not many like Bill Cox and, you know, the, the turns he takes throughout the season, it, uh, yeah. it, was, it was fun to explore. Well, there's a, you know, I, I, these books are, Jack's books are very popular and a lot of people um, are really, you know, they, they affected a lot of people, I think, especially the subject matter. Had you guys read the books before? Uh, I have you, La Monica, right now. So had you, were you familiar with the stories? Before? I was not, but as soon as I got the job, as soon as I got back home, the first thing I did was order it from Amazon and I read it and I could see why the fan base is what it is. And I knew it was a big deal, like when it got announced that I was going to be in it, a lot of people that I hadn't heard from in a long time hit me up and they're just, Jack Carr is their favorite author and like, oh my, you got to tell me, like I've done other cool stuff before, I haven't heard from these people, but I get Terminal List and like I get people calling me from childhood, like, oh my God, man, you're going to be on Terminal List. I'm like, wait, this is a big deal. Like I know why I want to work on it. But it just became that much more special after, uh, you know, with all that enthusiasm from, from buddies. That's nice. I, what about you, Gene? Were you familiar with his work at all? I had never heard of him. And then I was watching him on uh, social media. I started following him and he's got the most loyal, rabid fan base. And which was just fascinating. He's and then to meet him finally, you understand why why people love him so much because he's just uh, you know his background uh, in Navy SEAL, his you know it, it, the, how he served our country and his uh, his writing, his output, his discipline, his talents. I mean, he's really he's not normal. <laughs> he is not a normal man. Yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, congratulations on the new series. We got to wrap it up. But amazing meeting both of you, actually. Very nice to meet you. Investigations are still ongoing into the failures Operation Odin Sword. Failed missions resulted in the death of 12 Navy SEALs. Lieutenant Commander James Reese, can you outline the details of your mission? They knew we were coming. According to the audio logs, you went dark on comms roughly four mics in. Why? That's not how it went down. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Headaches, paranoia, memory confusion. Okay. Want to tell me what happened? Somebody fed us bad intel. It was a setup. 
If I'm right, we need to act on this. I need names. If there's a connection to you and your men, I'll find it. Answers or blood? Blood. Where's James Reese? Is it true your fugitive is a Navy SEAL? There's a bunch of people tracking you right now, so just lay low. I have 12 men flying home in caskets right now. Bart. This is personal. Oh, you wanted in on the fray. Now, you're in the battlefield. evil in this world, the likes of which you can't possibly imagine. James. Take Lucy, get her out of the house now. I'm not gonna tell you again. Stay off my list.